Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to League and Chill. So this game, uh, T Pip here is one of the best Warwicks in technically the world. Is currently ranked the 53rd best Warwick, and is Diamond One on EU Northeast. Here's the problem when you play with T Pip: is suddenly the MMR, even in a normal game, because again there are there is some data or some evidence I should say that is now linking ranked to normals a lot more. Suddenly, when T-Pip's in the game, we get, if I bring it up in a second, here, a Diamond 1 Lilia and a Diamond 4 Kaisa. So, literally, T-Pip, it's T-Pip's fault <laughs> that the MMR in the game goes up. Again, I don't mind, because uh, I actually would, in I'd like to play against these type of players. But uh, for the other teammates, you guys just do as best you can. Am I watching qualifying later? Yes, this is my last game today. And then I'm going to stop the stream to go watch quali. So we're going to Talon. I think technically a Talon is supposed to beat a Fizz. I think. Yummy Flapjacks. 200 biddies. I was there for the whole process. You were part of the reason you were part of the reason you decided to eat healthier. Thank you. No worries. Again, if you watch on YouTube, me and my chat just had a, a bit of a conversation about like fitness and stuff. And, and you know... Yeah. If, uh, if you weighed, technically, I lost about 100 pounds. At my heaviest I ever was, I was over 260, probably about 270-ish. And at my lightest, which I'm not at the moment because I've bulked up a little bit with muscle. <laughs> um, I Yeah, I would have lost about 100 pounds total. But I've bulked up a little bit just to get stronger. And again, it bulking up, some of it will be a little bit fat because, you know, I'm not eating perfectly at the moment again we're still in lockdown i'm i'm not kind of regimenting myself to be perfect in modern time at the moment i'm kind of letting myself a little bit chill time okay that guy has the level two talent all in in his head doesn't he did you know talent has the highest first blood rate of any champion but he kind of blew his chance there Poor guy. I don't know what he's doing. I think he was just that desperate to get the first blood. Um, but yeah, I weigh about 180, 180, 185 at the moment. So from my lightest, which I was last summer-ish, um, I've put on about 20, 25 pounds, mainly worth of muscle. Which is cool. Nice. Okay. Jack's Ignite by... Oh, he's got three farm. That poor Jax. Nice bot lane. How's the stream going? Yeah, it's just a lovely, sun, a lovely Saturday chill stream today. With the lockdowns and such, you really got into cooking at home. Yeah, it seems a lot of people did. Um, which is cool. We we pretty much has been the same as well. You know, we as a family, we basically cook fresh food every single day for like the main meal and like throughout the day. Where it's very common here in Britain. To other countries, I don't know if it's as common, but here in Britain, very common to just buy an oven meal, stick it in the oven, and that was your dinner. Um... But we don't do that at all. We don't buy oven meals basically at all anymore. It's all about cooking fresh. So, yeah. What are some things I noticed in my life after I lost a lot of the weight? A lot more energy. And, well, it was a lot more energy and then the medication made me drowsy. But, yeah, overall more energy. Uh, confidence level, way higher in some areas. So, I don't know. Just felt, you just generally, like, it's not even, like, a meme that people say. You actually do feel better. You, you just do. Uh-oh. Presume, did he try to dive again? This Talon is very aggressive. Again, we're even farmed, so it's not like we're behind at all. He's just so aggro. Don't 
Very nice. Again, I stopped going for it because I couldn't have continued to chase at all. It was up to the least in at that point. Had the last game go? Yeah, we won the last game. It was an absolute fiesta, which was quite fun. <laughs> Again, it's it's nice just to play games. You know, that's if you are a ranked League of Legends player, that's fine. But I do recommend just playing a normal from time to time, just to like let let loose. Because in ranked, you're never gonna fully probably let loose because your rating is on the line. In a normal game, just go crazy. It's occasionally fun to do. I'm, I'm going to do Boots of Lucidity maybe this game. They are growing in popularity because everyone says they're really overpowered. Should we try them out? Is the age-old Fizz with components still stronger than completing Lich Bane? I don't actually know anymore because I've not put a lot of time into Fizz uh, this season. It wouldn't surprise me if it's still good. Bam. Uh, Talon's missing. He might be going bot lane, so I'd care. Because this Talon, he's been very aggressive in mid lane. And because it hasn't worked for him, he might start mega roaming. Yep, he's there. Careful. Okay, I'm pushing. Damn, he got the kill. He did use, I think, both summoners. He died. Okay, yeah, this Talon's not having a great time. Whoa, Lily is aggressive. Guys, guys. Oh, <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, just to make the point as well, if you're watching on YouTube, please do throw a like on the video if you're enjoying the chill atmosphere, chill vibes. Again, I do this once uh, a weekend. Um, whatever day I'm streaming on the weekend, we just have a nice chill day. And if you're on YouTube and you want to come over and play some games, yeah, check out the stream on whatever weekend day I'm streaming. Yeah, the, the, she's Diamond 1. Isn't a jungle main, though. Oh, hello. Rampage Lee Sin. You're diving a Warwick. Why? What? These players are crazy. Is there a, a fruit? A nom 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 nom. And I still don't love that these exist. Because, like, right now I should be punished that I don't have a lot of mana. I'm not punished because I just walked over and picked up some fruit. Hey. I want to punish this Talon for his crazy aggression. You can't be that crazy aggro and not get punished. Do, 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 do. No. So T-Pip did say he wanted to try something. Wow. Um, I don't know what different thing he's trying this game. Probably something to do with the build. Maybe rushing Black Cleaver. What? <laughs> Tay War with the 1850 biddies. Bye-bye. No this poor ta wait no 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 don't dive don't dive okay good if he dove he was dead again uh Teo war thank you so much dude for the 1850 biddies that's very kind taking second place on the leaderboard behind glaciator this month uh, this week because glacy is a plot uh, ice crispy as well with a 34 months of prime thank you so much dude long-term support Alright, we should be able to kill Talon if he stays for a couple more sec. Oh, eh, eh, eh. No, my kill opportunity. Rares you. Ooh. He's clean! Ah, look at him go! <laughs> Very nice. That was actually pretty good Lee Sin play. Well, yeah, today's the last day of the leaderboard because I'm not streaming tomorrow. Because it is the F1 race. One 
What was my weight loss diet? I ate for six, seven months uh, eggs and a protein, like a meat every day. One meal a day. That was it. It was less than a thousand calories a day. It was very extreme. I'll probably do that diet again, uh, to be honest, at some point. Um, maybe when like lockdown ends and we're all in a really happy place and living life again, I'll probably go back to doing that diet. I just can't do that diet right now. Like, because I don't know, like, you, you, I'm happy in many areas, but then you kind of just every now and then, uh, do you guys think this guy's angry? <laughs> but yeah, you, you, I don't know, you just get reminded every now and then that you're in a lockdown and the willpower to continue a crazy diet like that, for at least me, it fades away a little bit. Jax's rage quit top lane. Yeah, well, he's dead, and it might be a double kill. I don't mind a double. Gone, Rez! Hey, I'll take that. I don't mind a death for a double kill. Hell yeah. Hey, Clueless Gamer. Ooh. Whoa, that damage. That was... Wait, Lilia's got, like, no items. She must have a lot of gold on her, right? How is she that far behind in items? Hey, Dutch Mike, I'm really good. So, wait, so, yeah, the Lilia's Diamond 1, but she's, she's never played Lilia... And she's a Jax main, and then some supports. That's a bit of a random champion pool. What the? That makes no sense. Do do do. I went Prowlers. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the Talon item. Might be Autofield. Yeah, I think so. And again, the, these games sometimes do highlight the differences between, like, the, the roll skill. There's a Diamond 1 Lilia having a really bad game. Where in like a normal game where the average rating in this game is like I like quite low. You'd think, oh, a Diamond 1 player would absolutely wreck face. She's having a really hard time. Because she's not a Diamond 1 jungler. Maybe I should have roamed, but... I mean... Oh, Jax didn't die. Yeah, like that. Her decision making there to go close to a fizz is really weird. In what world should she be close to me? I don't know. It's a bit weird. Very odd. See you later, Flapjacks. Have a good time at work if it's getting busy. Fizz does so much damage. Well, everything in League does so much damage nowadays. That's the thing. Alright, let's go back. Get Sheen. Boop, boop. Very nice. I haven't really played any Fizz this season. Oh! That Q, though. Ooh. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these League and Chill episodes. I like doing them. It's a nice... Even though, again, the main account, the new main account, it's been going really well recently. Like, we went over a 10-game win streak. That's absolutely crazy good. Do I not get that kill? Nope. Damn it, dude. Um... But yeah, like, it's been going insanely well. I think it's still good to play games like this. It's, it's just fun. It's really fun. Did I hit Master or Grandmaster last season? No, it was the season before. Last season, I actually took very, very, very easy. And I think I might have only peaked in Diamond 2 last season. And that was because, again, in the background, I, I think we all were, but I was... 
I was very up and down when it came to like the lockdowns and stuff, so I just didn't have it in me to try hard in a ranked season. Like just genuinely, I was just like, I'm just taking this season as like a chill season. So I just didn't really try hard that much last year. What's the difference between Omnivamp and Lifesteal? Omnivamp is all sources of damage. Lifesteal is just your auto attacks. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I missed! Oh my god, Warwick got him. Thoughts on the. I don't like the new items. I don't think they're ever going to be balanced. Um, this, I don't mind the new shop. I'm, I'm okay with the shop. I just. Yeah, the new items I just don't think are fantastic. Uh, I did Faris because that was sponsored. That was sponsored quite a while ago, actually. Uh oh. Oof. Jax has got 40 farm. Wait, Talon's 3 and 9? What the? I didn't even know. Damn. Well, I think they're ever going to be... Yeah, like, I think Riot's just going to be in a constant state of making some of the items overpowered and making some of the items really weak, and it's just going to be a constant state of that. I just think the, the new items by design are never going to be balanced. They're too strong. By, by design, the items are too strong. That's the problem when you give items champion-level mechanics. I think Stride Breaker is really busted right now. Well, I think a lot of people think it's busted right now. The Talon is literally just running away all the time. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> oh. What is this Talon doing? I don't even know. Yeah, someone's saying, like, what would I consider the most balanced item? I don't actually know. Genuinely. Not sure. Because it just, it, like, it for me, at, right now, it just feels like there's just two groups of items. There's, like, the really strong ones or the kind of meh ones. There doesn't really feel that there's many items that are like, oh, it's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's not bad, it's just balanced. I can't really think of any. Like, in mid lane, again, this is the problem with Riot and their diversity of items at the moment. You know, I was, at the beginning of the season, I'm going to buy um, Torment, Leandre's Torment every game, because that was the strongest. Okay, I'm building that. And then Luden's got pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to build that. And now it's... I'm just going to buy Everfrost every game. It's like... How is that anything to do with champion diversity? I, I, I have no idea. Oh, wait, what? Oh, she's got Ignite as Kaiser? Chem tank, Sunfire... They're, yeah, Chem tank's borderline broken. Sunfire is now pretty weak. Because they overbuffed the other one. Oh, well, they overbuffed um, Chem tank. But in the Everfrost now is the overpowered mage item. So, like, on most of my mages, I'm just buying Everfrost. It's just, it, when everyone is just the strongest out of the three, that's just the one you end up buying. That's just how it's been, like, this whole season. It's nothing to do with balance. It's very weird. Also, this game is another fiesta. Holy moly. Does anyone ever build Eclipse? Yeah, some do. Like, Lee Sin's got it this game. But to be fair, like, Eclipse is at the moment quite overshadowed by... 
the other thing. What's it called? Um, oh, they surrendered. Uh, Prowler's Claw. A lot of Eclipse item, a lot of Eclipse champions have just now moved to Prowler's Claw. Calming Chaos. Holy Jesus, dude. 80 months Twitch subscriber. 80 months Twitch subscriber on an 80 month streak. You have to be the oldest, like, long-term sub we we have. Like, you've got one of the first badges or founder badges. Like, you have to be. Like, that's how... 80 months. Thank you so much. Like, I I can't even put into words how much that means to me. To, to think that someone has been subscribed for 80 months back to back to back. That's just... I mean, it's just special. That's absolutely insane. Thank you. That means a lot. But this game, we went 6 3 4 A+. Plus. Bit of a fiesta of a game. Damage wise, not doing too bad damage. The, the Jax, you know, his <laughs> Jax does the most damage in the game, by the way. And he had 74 farm. <laughs> this Jax is just like, I'm giving up top lane, screw top. I'm now just fighting the rest of the game. <laughs> the weird thing is, he actually didn't feel that weak. Also, worth knowing, yes, that Lilia, who's the Diamond One player, did less than 1200 total damage so this is why i've always said yes there are players that are really good but the thing with league of legends now that it's more true now than it's ever been is the league of the league player base is more specialized in the fact that back in the day when there was no role select you had to have a general good game sense on every single role because you couldn't select a role Nowadays, when you get to pick, oh, I'm going to go, you know, support. I'm a support main. You get to play support every game. Or if you're a mid main, you get to play mid most of your games. The player base is a lot dumber now in terms of overall game knowledge than it's ever been. So like this Lilia, it's, it, I know it's only one game. It's a one off. But this is a diamond one Lilia. She was master last season. It's a it's a Jax and then a support player randomly playing Lilia and having no idea what's going on. And that is just, that's common. That That isn't, this, you know, it's not exactly an outlier. That is what League is now. It's it's players that are good at one thing. Which, you know, again, that's why I miss the old system, but it's never probably ever going to come back. But that's just the way that it is. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy this League and Chill episode, please do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.